So, making more progress. I have the neck shaped and sanded to my liking. Uh, smoothed up the edges. I am going to put some stain on it and uh, I have to figure out where the nut is going to be and uh, decide on a tailpiece or just drill holes through. So in the meantime I successfully inlaid the Petoskey stone into the box so it sticks out just a little bit and I have to decide what I'm going to put up here. I think I maybe I'll wood burn something in there like rock. Um, I also have installed the jack, amplifier jack plug. I'll show you how you do that. Uh, in the meantime, I had soldered the wires on the piezo disc. Where is it? There it is. To the quarter inch jack, hot glued the disc under where the bridge, as close to under the bridge as you can get it, is ideally uh, what I like to do. Um, <clears throat> so, I have this description of the Petoskey stones that I am going to glue inside the lid. So that uh, someday when somebody opens the box to change a string or something, there will be the Petoskey stone story. Since it's a nice glossy thing, it came with the puzzle. So there you have it. Um, I'm going to stain the neck first, then I'll put it in, then I will actually mount the neck and get the strings and the tuners on and uh, decide, oh I'm going to varnish over the, all of this also to uh, help seal this cardboard puzzle top. And so after I stain the neck and I will varnish the neck also and the neck slides right through and still does not touch the little piezo disc underneath there. I've got about an eighth of an inch of a gap and the, the piezo is right about here underneath there so the sh sound from the box top should transfer well. So this is what it'll be, rock and Petoskey stone rocker. Stay tuned.